All right, good morning. It's a good day, Parker, because guess what? We have the rest of the toys. Woo! Dance party, dance party. Um, they are unfortunately no longer available at McDonald's. However, um, I did find that if you click the toddler toy, if you don't want the whatever toys in stock, they'll usually give you old toys from the past. So let's go ahead, you ready to open these? Yeah, you've got some bagel, you got some cream cheese. You're all set, Bubba. So let's start with number five. So number five is trouble. Oh, open, open, open. What do we think of trouble? That's cute. Yeah. Cute. Let's show the camera. So trouble over here is adorable. He has a little hat. The hat doesn't move, but his arms still do, just like all of the others. It might actually be a girl with those little cute eyelashes. Um, but on the front is the trouble board. On the back is the trouble papa. So you have the papa over here to play the actual game. Um, and then inside is all of this, including rules um, and how to play the game. So over here, we've got our trouble board game. We've got our pop-out pieces. These are great, again, for the road. You can play them on. Um, so number five, Trouble. That's gonna be a good one for when Parker gets a little bit older. You like him, though. You like his little hat. Yeah? All right, let's move on, Parker. What's next? <gasps> Twister. I have been dying to see Twister. Look at Twister. What do you think of her? That's a cute one, isn't it? Twister, look at the back, ready? You could do spin, 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 spin. <gasps> so Twister is a really cool one. It is a long board on the back. You have the spinner and it is finger twister. Um, so inside it has a little board that you play with just your fingers. Um, I'd imagine it is just, oh, it's with one hand. So you play with your ring finger, your pinky, your thumb, and your pointer finger on the board. Cute. Chris and I will have to try that one out because I don't think Parker is going to be able to, but he could spin the spinner for us. Good job. Ring finger on red. Good job. Here you go. And then last but not least, we have the hardest one to get. We actually spoke to someone um, at one of the McDonald's here in Florida, and they were shortage of Battleship. It is number eight, the last and final one. So let's go ahead and let's see. This is my favorite aesthetic one because he's like a little macho, macho man. You see the muscles? Show me your muscles. Good job. Whoop. So he's got a little sailor hat on. He's got the Battleship logo, and he actually has two openings to him um, because on the side you have different game boards for different play um, and you do have inside him as well a pencil to keep score on the game boards. The game boards are disposable um, unfortunately so you can only play so much but you can always make copies of them and put them in as long as they're the side but you've got the rules here for two-player game and that's Battleship. What do you think Parker? Pretty cool collection, right? These are definitely better than the current Pokemon toys that they have. Um, and they're more toddler friendly as well because even without the game pieces, he could play with them as little toys. So we now have all of them. Operation, Monopoly, Twister, Connect Four, Parker's favorite Hungry Hungry Hippos, and the Game of Life. And then add in, of course, Trouble and Battleship. And Parker, look, you've got them all. Let's take a closer look. So going from beginning to end over here, we've got them all, Parker. And that was the hardest one to get. So was Trouble. The easiest one would have to be Hungry Hungry Hippos, which is definitely the most toddler friendly of them all. But so uh, Trouble and Twister also have something good for kids to play with. Everything else, you'll have to wait till he's a little older. 
So getting a closer look at the bags, this is what Battleship's bag looks like with his little animation and his little Popeye tattoo. Um, trouble over here, definitely getting into trouble. And I love that they put the dice in the hat in the actual bag. And then last but not least is Twister, who also is a sassy pants, uh, just like life was. So the three that we needed over here, and we now have them all. What do you think, Parker? I know it's breakfast time. Mmm, mm, that's good. You don't say, um... Here they are in order if you're looking to get them online. Hungry Hunger Hippos was one, Monopoly was two, Operation three, Connect four was four, Trouble was five, The Game of Life was six, Twister was seven, and Battleship, last but not least, was number eight. I would say from a review standpoint, um, the best one in my opinion is probably Monopoly because it is my favorite personally and it's the only reason why we were originally getting these. Um, from a toddler standpoint, I would say that definitely Hungry Hungry Hippos um, because not only can Parker play it, but it also acts as a rattle. Exactly, exactly, you messy boy. Um, and I would say that probably the worst out of all of them, um, just to be critical, is probably Operation. He's really, really cute, but there's no timer or anything like that to make the game difficult. All the other ones pretty much have a challenge to them, except for him. But overall, this is definitely the best McDonald's franchise we've had in a while when it comes to Happy Meals. So, get out and get them. And in closing thoughts, I just want to say phenomenal job with these Happy Meal toys. For those of you out there that are collectors, find yourself a spouse that will go to all ends to get you every single part of the collection. You're right welcome. Up. You're welcome. You're welcome. Photobomb. <laughs> say bye-bye. Oh, I'm not your breakfast. Okay. That's my arm. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, arm. Can you say arm? That. Yeah, that. That. Okay. I've actually gone ahead and put those in our game cabinet. I'm in our game room right now in the front of our house where we play our board games so that this way when we're playing our adult games, Parker could play those, keep them occupied. Um, and keep them refreshed. Uh, we actually tried some of the Pokemon games, which is the new McDonald's Happy Meal toy. Um, you could find that on our page. Um, they're good, but they're not as good as these ones. You'll see when you watch the video. Um, but other than that, if you've had fun with us, if you enjoy watching Parker and I have random conversations, which is really me talking to him and then him babbling a little bit, uh, make sure you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, become a part of our family. We're gonna do tons of things once this pandemic ends a little bit. We're gonna be doing a lot of travel, a lot of exploring the world, um, but we're also gonna be t buying a lot of toys because we love spoiling our little boy and we love testing them. So make sure to subscribe, check it out, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Like my family.